everyone. This is Matthew McKenzie, care of activist, blogger, author, poet, raising awareness of Young Care's Action Day. Just a short video to promote this important day regarding young carers. So I'm sure many of you are sort of asking by now, what is Young Care's Action Day? Basically, it's an annual event, an annual awareness event campaign which is led, I suppose, or run by Carers Trust, although there are other organisations out there raising awareness of young carers, but this one is led by Carers Trust. And basically, this occurs on the 15th of March. It raises awareness, as I mentioned before, and calls for action to increase support for young people, young carers who have care responsibilities. Um, I'd like to also add that it's not only raising awareness for those who have a decision regarding young carers, but also for, for young carers themselves, to be honest. Because again, the situation I might have noticed is that not everyone knows that they are caring. And I'll probably go into a bit about that in a moment. But yes, the, you know, people ask me, well, why raise awareness? One of them I've just sort of slightly mentioned. Many people might know that they are caring at such a young age, but they also have the added pressures and challenges, which we'll go on to in a moment that young carers face when they are trying to care for family members or even a friend. And just as I stated before, you know, when I was young myself, uh, growing up around about five, six onwards, I was actually a young carer myself, helping my brother who had autism. And at the time, I didn't even really know. I was just doing what I thought was, was right. Was, just do my duty, as I would say. But still, as I've mentioned, it's a tragedy today if we have young people who are providing care um, not being aware that they're young carers and, you know, they shouldn't have to cope in providing care in isolation. So what would be classified as a young carer? How does that work? Well, basically, a young carer is someone, um, I suppose, age 25 or below, um, who cares, as, as I mentioned, who cares for a friend or family member. And this could be down to that person being unwell, seriously unwell, may have a disability or mental health problem, and cannot really function so, so well without that care and support of that young person. Now, when I'm talking about care and support, what roles does a young carer do? And it could be, as mentioned, you know, physical care, just helping someone move around, you know, dressing, my aiding in washing, um, getting them to bed, out of bed. Uh, that, yeah, that young person could also help with cooking or shopping or picking things up, um, helping that person that they care for communicate. It could be down to that adult or sibling that might have um, language difficulties or other language. Um, that young girl could translate, go into meetings. Other things would be emotional support or even being there to, to help that, that person in a sense, even with medication. And they could even advocate. But remember, young people will may, may have more of a difficult time doing these things, probably due to life experience, or maybe not getting the extra support. So the struggles of young carers, um, there, there are a lot, to be honest, but this is just a short video, so I don't want to take too long on this, but I suppose young, young people, young carers can miss on opportunities, can be isolated in their role providing care, and find it difficult to relate to other young people, friends, classmates, because of their particular caring role. So it seems that, um, Young carers often feel invisible, which they feel because they feel invisible, they don't, they feel they're not given enough time. And this actually adds to the theme of Young Carers Action Day 2023, which the theme would be make time for young carers. And with throughout that theme, there, there's several focuses of awareness raising or what Carers Trust would like um, for young carers would be improved support in schools. Now you might 
might refer to one of my stories um, regarding a young person. Not a young carer, that story's to come. But improved support in schools for those who are caring for someone at such an age and hopefully those schools can identify a young carer as quickly as possible and give them that more support. Access to breaks, given again more time for that young carer so they can have a rest of a break for themselves. Access to counselling support. Now I did mention earlier on there are challenges for young people who are caring. One of them is mental health needs and also obviously more financial support. So again, I don't, don't want to make this video overly long. I, I have a habit of doing that. But this is my short awareness video um, leading up to Young Kills Action Day. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch up again real soon.